Today we are going to read In Front of the Arizona Desert. My grandmother painted this picture back when she was alive and I wanted to share it with you. It is so special to me because of the cacti, the saguaros, and all of the cactus trails. And we used to hike trails like this when I was a little girl and go up into the Superstition Mountains. And the Superstition Mountains always look so purple and beautiful. So I wanted to read in front of my grandmother's painting today to, for you um, of Arizona. So yesterday um, we read where the little boy made the poem that looked like the dog. Okay, and let's see what he tells his teacher after he's written it. March 1st. Yes, you can type up the yellow dog poem that looks like a dog, but this time keep the spaces exactly the same and maybe it would look really, really good on yellow paper. Maybe you could put my name on it but only if you want to, only if you think it looks good enough. Okay, we're back to being self-conscious again as writers. March 7th, I was a little embarrassed when people said things to me like, neat poem, Jack, and how did you think of that, Jack? And I really, really like the one you put up about the tree that is shaped like a tree. Not fake looking tree, not a fake looking tree, but a real tree with straggly branches. But I want to know, but I want to know who is the anonymous poet in our class who wrote that and why didn't he or she want to put his or her name on it? Was it like me when I didn't think my words were poems? Maybe you will tell the anonymous tree poet that his or her tree poem is really a poem. Really, really, and a good poem too. So now he is a critic and he is giving other friends advice. That's super sweet of him. He is growing in his poetry. March 14th. That was the best, best, best poem you read yesterday by Dr. Walter Dean Myers. The best, best, best poem ever. I am sorry. I took the book home without asking. I only got one spot on it. That's why the page is torn. I tried to get the spot out. I copied that best poem and hung it in, sorry, hung it on my bedroom wall right over my bed where I can see it when I'm lying down. Maybe you could copy it too and hang it on the wall in our class where we can see it when we are sitting at our desks doing stuff. I wonder what that poem was. I'll have to find it and attach it to, attach it to the link below for you to read. I sure like the po that poem by Dr. Walter Myers called Love That Boy because of two reasons. I liked it. One is because my dad calls me in the morning, just like that. He calls, hey there, son. And also because when I had my yellow dog, I loved that dog. And I would call him like this. I'd say, hey there, Sky. His name was Sky. He's giving a little bit more information about his dog. I'm wondering what happened to his yellow dog. March 22nd, my yellow dog followed me everywhere. Every which way I turned, he was there, wagging his tail and slobber coming out of his mouth when he was smiling at me all the time as if he was saying, thank you, thank you, thank you for choosing me. 
and jumping up on me, his shaggy, straggly paws on my chest, like he was trying to hug the insides right out of me. And when the kids were playing outside, kicking the ball, he'd chase after it and push it with his nose, push, 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 and getting slob, slobber all over the ball. But no one cared because he was such a funny dog, that dog Sky. That straggly, furry, smiling dog Sky. And I'd call him every morning, every morning. Hey there, Sky. March 27th. Yes, you can type up what I wrote about my dog, Sky, but don't type up the other secret one I wrote, the one all folded up in the envelope with tape on it. That one uses too many of, doc, of Mr. Walter Dean Meyer's words, and maybe Mr. Walter Dean Myers would get mad about that. Yeah, we definitely do not want to copy poems when we're writing our own. We want to make sure that we write our own and do it independently. April 4th. I was very glad to hear that Mr. Walter Dean Myers is not the sort of person who would get mad at a boy for using some of his words. And thank you for typing up my secret poem, the one that uses so many of Mr. Walter Dean Meyer's words. And I like what you put at the top, inspired by Walter Dean Meyer's. So then he can give credit to where credit is due. That sounds good to my ears. Now no one will think I just copied because I couldn't think of my own words. They will know I was inspired by Mr. Walter Dean Myers, but don't put it on the board yet, okay? Is Mr. Walter Dean Myers a live person? And if he is, do you think he could ever come to our city, to our school, to our class? And if he did, sh um, should we should hide my poem with his words. Hide it real good, just in case he would get mad about that. April 9th. No, 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 no. I can't do it. Uh, you should do it. You're a teacher. I wonder what he wants his teacher to do that he doesn't want to do. April 12th. I don't agree that Mr. Walter Dean Myers might like to hear from a boy who likes his poem. I think Mr. Walter Dean Myers would like to hear from a teacher who uses big words and knows how to spell and type. What is she asking him to do? She's asking him to write a letter to Mr. Walter Dean Myers. Oh, I can infer that Mr. Walter Dean Myers must be alive then if they're going to be writing a letter to him. Ready? April 17th. Dear Mr. Walter Dean Myers, You probably don't want to hear from me because I'm I am only a boy and not a teacher, and I don't use big words, and you probably won't read this. Or even if you do read it, you probably are way too busy to answer it, let alone the thing I am going to ask you. I want you to know that's okay, because our teacher says writers are very, 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 very busy trying to write their words. I wonder what he's asking Mr. Walter Dean Myers to do. And the phone is ringing and the fax is going and the bills need paying and sometimes they get sick. I hope you're not sick, Mr. Walter Dean Myers, or their family gets sick, or their electricity gets turned off, or their card needs fixing, or they have to go 
to the grocery store or do the laundry or clean up messes. I don't know how you find time to write your words if you have to do all that stuff. Maybe you should get a helper. So what I'm asking you is this. If you ever get time to leave your house and if you ever fe ever feel like visiting a, visiting a school where there might be some kids who like your poems, would you ever maybe think about maybe coming maybe to our school, which is a clean place with mostly nice people in it. And I think our teacher, Miss Stretchberry, would maybe even make brownies for you because sometimes she makes them for us. I hope I haven't too much stopped you from doing your writing of words and fixing your car and getting groceries and all that stuff just to read this letter, which probably is taking you about 15 minutes. And that and in that time, you could have maybe written a whole new poem or at least the start of one. And so I am sorry for taking up your time. And I understand if you can't come to our school and read some of your poems to us and let us see your face, which I bet is a friendly face. My name is Jack by Mr. Walter Dean Myers. That was such a fun little part of this story um, of poems, and I can't wait to share more with you tomorrow.